Typhoon Noru blew out of the northern Philippines Monday, leaving five rescuers dead, causing floods and power outages. Noru is also forcing officials to suspend classes and government work. In the capital and outlying provinces. The most powerful typhoon to hit the Philippines this year slammed into the coast in Burdeos town in Quezon. And in Quezon province, before nightfall on Sunday, officials said more than 17,000 people were moved to emergency shelters from high-risk communities prone to tidal surges, flooding, and landslides in Quezon. In San Miguel, thousands of people are affected by flooding and more than 3,000 people were evacuated to safety in metropolitan Manila, which was lashed by fierce wind and rain overnight. Governor of Bulacan province north of Manila, Daniel Fernando, says five rescuers who were using a boat to help residents trapped in flood waters were hit by a collapsed wall, then apparently drowned in the rampaging waters. Authorities in South China's island province of Hainan is bracing for a rainstorm triggered by super typhoon Noru that has emerged over South China Sea. Hainan Meteorological Service issued another level 3 alert, 6.50 local time Monday for the impact of Noru, requesting relevant departments to take precautions in advance. It expects on September 27th to the 28th, the eastern and southern coasts of Hainan Island will experience force 9 to 11 winds, and the coastal lands in west and north Hainan will see force 6 to 8 winds. Since the eastern part of Hainan Island has already seen significant precipitation over the past week, such a combination of heavy rainfall is possible to lead to some water logging and soil supersaturation. People need to be vigilant about secondary disasters like mountain floods.